This is an MMA report with Jason Floyd and Daniel Galvan. Quick fix on Radio Influence. My number one fight is clear, and, and there's not even a, a second fight that comes even close to my anticipation. My number one fight is Aljamain Sterling versus Corey Sanhagen. And if, and as I'm looking, I've got the you know the stat sheet in terms of both these guys right in front of me, Daniel. And, the, and I saw this uh, a couple of days ago, and it blew my mind. You think of Corey Sanhagen, you think of this taller bantamweight. He actually has a one-inch reach disadvantage in this fight. That's amazing <laughs> because San Hagen is so big for 135 pounds. You're, I mean, it, it's uh, it's crazy. His inch, his reach advantage is, is uh, that's nuts. You know, and he and he's five foot eleven by the way, compared to Aljamain Sterling, the Funk Master is five foot seven. So you know, the reach is been something that Aljamain has used to have so much success, especially if you watch his fight against Jimmy Rivera. J- poor Jimmy, man, he could not get inside. It was just a rough, rough fight for him, and it was Aljamain's combination of his reach and his like hand speed, dude. This dude is so fast. In addition to just his normal, like, straight punches, he can rock you like a back elbow and in a blink of an eye. It's unbelievable. Or he'll do a strike, and as he's bouncing back, boom, a spinning back strike. And so that speaks to his speed, but also his reach. And uh, when you think of Sanhagen, you are right, Jason. You think of that big-time frame that allows him to have a lot of success as he does his, you know, his dominant cruise impersonation. Uh, Dominic Cruz, you know, one of his favorite fighters, and he fights like him in terms of always switching stances, always fainting, always doing something. This fight is awesome. Both these guys could fight for a bantamweight title tomorrow, and I have gone back and forth on who I think is going to win this fight. But you're right. Unequivocally, this is the best fight we, we've gotten, and it's probably... It's probably the second best fight the UFC's put on during the pandemic, if I had a guess, behind uh, Gaethje and Ferguson. I don't know if I'm missing an obvious one. The MMA Report with Jason Floyd and Daniel Galvan can be found on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, Google Podcasts, and RadioInfluence.com.